Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at what's called the quotient rule. In the last video we looked at the product rule. The quotient rule is really, really obvious to spot because what you can see here is just going to be a fraction with two functions in it. Okay, so it looks really complicated. dy dx here is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. It's pretty much what we did for the product rule. We're just sticking it into this formula instead of the previous slides formula. So We've been asked to find dy dx if y is equal to 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 5 and express the form in terms of a fraction where a, b and c here are integer values. Okay, so the first thing we do is, let's write it down, y is equal to 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 5. So we know it's a quotient because we see it's a fraction, we've got x's over x's. And what we're going to do is exactly what we did before, we are going to make a u and we're going to make it a v. Okay. We're then going to go to the side and we're going to say, okay, we know that u is equal to 3x minus 1 du dx is equal to, hopefully you're getting good at this by now, that this is going to go equal to 3. v is equal to 2x plus 5. And then dv dx is equal to, and if we differentiate, that's going to go to 2. If you're not sure why, Remember, if the number in front of it, just an x, is retained. And if you have a constant, when we differentiate it, it goes to 0. So here, 2x goes to 2, and the plus 5 is a constant, so that goes to 0. Next thing we do is to write out the formula. So we have dy dx, dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. That's in your tables book, lads. You don't have to learn it. And like before, we're just going to stick in the values. So that's equal to the V. Well, the V here is 2x plus 5. So let's put that in. So 2x plus 5. Put it in a bracket. Du dx here is equal to 3. I can stick it in front, or I can stick it here or here, because it's multiplied. So I'm going to stick it in front, just to make life easier when I come to multiply it out. Minus u where u is equal to 3x minus 1. So let's write that down in a bracket, 3x minus 1. And we're now looking for dv dx, and dv dx is equal to 2. Again, I can stick it either at the end of the bracket or the beginning of the bracket. I'm going to put it at the beginning just so it'll help me when I come to multiply it out. Next thing, v squared. So v, we already know, is 2x plus 5, and it's squared. Now, guys, you will never, ever, ever multiply out this bracket unless you're asked to because hopefully you might find that we can find a factor on the top when we sort all this out later that might factor with this or might cancel with this okay so never ever ever multiply out the denominator we know using the quotient rule okay now that i've given that lecture's over next thing we need to do is to try and tidy this up so we can get it of the form of this so we've got 3 times this bracket minus 2 times this bracket. So let's do that then. So 3 times, go up here, 3 times 2x is 6x. I then have 3 times 5, which is positive 15. Okay. Minus 2 times 3x, which is 6x. And minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. So just so you can see what I've done there. So 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times positive 5, positive 15. Minus 2 times 3x is minus 6x. And minus 2 times minus 1 is positive 2. Okay, and that's still all over. 2x plus 5 all squared. Okay, collecting the like terms. 6x minus 6x are going to cancel out. And 15 plus 2 gives us 17 on the top. So it's 17 over 2x plus 5 squared, which is of the form a over bx plus c squared. And they're all integers. My a is 17. My B is 2, and my C is 5. So let's have a look at another couple of examples. We've got Y is equal to 2X over X plus 1 here at the top. So again, notice U and V go to the side. I'll go over here. So we've got U is equal to 2X. DU DX is equal to 2. V is equal to X plus 1. And DV DX is equal to one. Remember, anything in front of an x we just keep, so that's two for this one. You can see we actually have one x here, so dv dx is actually equal to one. 
We're then going to stick it through the formula. And the formula has just magically appeared. It's dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. So let's put the values in. So we now have dy dx is equal to v, which is x plus 1. I'll come and show you all this in a second again. du dx, which is 2, minus u, which is 2x, dv dx, which is 1. Okay all over v squared, which is x plus 1 all squared. So just to show you again, so v is x plus 1, du dx is 2, so 2 there. Then we have minus u, which is 2x, 2x, by dv dx, which is 1, all over v, x plus 1 squared. OK, we're going to tidy up the top as much as possible, so I'm just going to go up to here. And I'm going to get 2x plus 1 minus 2x all over x plus 1 squared. And again, 2 times x gives me the 2x. 2 times 1 gives me the 1 minus 2x. Pretty straightforward. And hopefully you can see that the 2x and the minus 2x here are going to cancel. Cancel out. And we're going to end up with 1 over x plus 1 squared. And that's my final dy dx. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So we have if y is equal to 2x plus k over x plus c and dy dx is equal to 5 over x plus 3 squared, find the value of k. Oh, all right, it's just a different way of asking a question. It's given us the answer this time. So we know that this is our u. We know that this is our v. Again, we go to the side. So we've got u is equal to 2x plus k du dx, well, let's just think about this one. If we have a look, the 2x, remember any number in front of an x just gets, well, we just keep, so that's equal to 2. Now, this plus k, k is just a constant, it's a real value. There's no x on the end, so it doesn't matter what it is. When I differentiate it, it's just going to disappear and go to 0 because it's a constant. So du dx here is equal to 2. v is equal to x plus 3. And dv dx is equal to 1. Again, same reason. What we have here is x. It's 1x it's here. So whatever's in front of the x we keep, which is the 1. And this is a constant. So it's going to disappear just for the same reason as this. So if this k was equal to 10, it would disappear just like this 3. It's going to disappear when we differentiate it. OK, let's uh, use the, the rule. And we know that the rule is dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So I'm just going to come in and put the values in here and see what happens. We've got dy dx is equal to, well, v, I'm just going to do it and then show you where I've got the numbers from. So x plus 3 du dx, which is 2, minus u, which is 2x plus k, and by dv dx, which is 1, all over x plus 3, all squared, because that's v, just to show you where those come from. So the first one is v. v is x plus 3, here, by du dx, du dx, here, minus u, 2x plus k, by dv dx, 1, all over v, x plus 3, squared. Okay, let's try and tidy that up a little bit. So I've got, that is equal to 2x plus 6, minus 2x minus k, and that's all over x plus 3 all squared. And that means that we can simplify that a little bit further, and we get 6 minus k over x plus 3 all squared. Now, we're not quite finished because we're trying to find k here, but we do know that the differential dy dx is equal to 5 over x plus 3 squared, and we've worked out the differential to be this expression here. So that means we can equate this with this. So let's do that now. It's going to go across to here. So what we now have is 6 minus k over x plus 3 all squared must be equal to the answer that we've been given, which is 5 over x plus 3 all squared. Now you can see that the bottoms are the same here. So the only thing we need to worry about is the numerators. 
So this must be equal to this. So let's write that down. So 6 minus k must be equal to 5. I'm going to take the k across. So I've got 6 is equal to 5 plus k. And then I'm going to take the 5 across, which means that k is going to be equal to 6 take away 5, which is 1. And k is equal to 1.